Okay, good day. So, here are the examples of the following using the portal method. So, this is the easiest way on how to solve the portal method. So, as you can see, we have here two-story level. We have 10 kilonewton, 20 kilonewton, 3 meters each story, and then 5 meters span and 4 meters span. So, the first thing we should know is determine the shear. So, what are the shear? So, we have here exterior shear and interior shear or interior column. For the exterior column, we consider one shear. On interior column, we have considered two shear. Also, one shear. So, also, on this level, we have to put shear, twice of the shear, and other shear to determine the first shear all we have to do is to compute this load or consider this load which is 10 kilonewton is equal to summation of this shear for this level so we have v plus twice of shear plus v so 10 kilonewton is equivalent to 4 v divided by 4 4 so we have v to be 2.5 kilo newton therefore our twice of the shear or twice shear is 2.5 times 2 is 5 kilo newton so we have to put here 2.5 kilo newton 5 kilo newton and then 2.5 kilo newton always put the unit next here we have v to v and v so for shear what are the loads so we have 10 plus 20 so 10 plus 20 is equivalent to 30 so 30 kilonewton is equivalent to 4 shear divided by 4 divided by 4 so our shear is 7.5 kilonewton therefore our twice of the shear is 15 kilonewton so we have to put this is your fifth um 7.5 kilonewton 15 kilonewton and 7.5 kilonewton next step is we have to determine the column moment for the column moment this is the rotation so as you can see the rotation would be would be counter so also with this this is counter counter and then counter how do we solve this column moment all we have to do is get this portion so i have to draw it like this this is your shear so this is 2.5 kilonewton all we have to do is get the half of the three meters so that is 1.5 meters to get this moment so therefore our moment here is equivalent to 2.5 multiplied by 1.5 that mo that moment is equivalent to 3.75 kilonewton meter the unit of moment is kilonewton meter so we have to put it here 3.75 kilonewton meter okay next if this is counterclockwise therefore in one rotation this is also 3.75 kilonewton meter how about this one? Okay, same process. So we have to put 5 multiplied by 1.5. That is equivalent to 7.5 kilonewton meter. So that is one rotation. So we have to put 7.5 kilonewton meter. Since portal method is approximate value, so you could use this as your one rotation. And one rotation. For the counterclockwise next we have 2.5 times 1.5 this why 1.5 again because this half of three meters so or you could copy your previous value which is 3.75 kilonewton meter kilonewton meter okay next how about on this part or in this level so we have to put column 
So 7.5 multiplied by 1.5, which is half of 3. So that is 11.70, uh, 11.25. Or to make it sure, we have 7.5 times half of 3, which is 1.5. So we have 11.25. So we have to put here 11.25 kilonewton meter. 11.25 kilonewton meter. Next, we have 15 times half of 3 which is 1.5 22.5 kilonewton meter 22.5 kilonewton meter and since 7.5 is also same with this value so we could copy 11.25 kilonewton meter and 11.25 kilonewton meter so next step is to determine the girder moment so to, to determine the girder moment so we have to put here clockwise clockwise rotation and also with this this is clockwise rotation so um i using this is for girder moment to determine the girder moment since this is connections we have these joints on our theory of the structures oh um if this is counterclockwise therefore this rotation must be like that and also with this for this is what we call equilibrium condition condition therefore this is 3.75 we just copy 3.75 to make it more equilibrium since portal method is approximate value. So since this is 3.75 kilonewton meter um, in or in one rotation, this is also 3.75 kilonewton meter. Okay, next. How about this one? So next is this one. So how do we get this value so all we have to do since we have here moment okay so i'll extract it here uh, um i get this portion okay if we consider 3.75 and 7.5 kilonewton so this is how we compute this moment so we have here horizontal moment and vertical moment if that direction is opposite or perpendicular to each other so we have to subtract so 7.5 minus 3.75 is 3.75 kilonewton meter so we have here 3.75 kilonewton meter 3.75 kilonewton meter next how about this moment so for determine this moment if we have same direction of your moment this is your moment for the vertical and also this is your vertical moment all all you have to do is to add so 3.75 plus 11.25 is 15 kilonewton meter also this is 15 kilonewton meter because that is one rotation how about this portion so for that portion as you can see we have here 7.5 and this is 15 this is 22.5 and this is a known moment all you have to do is you have to add the vertical and subtract the horizontal so 7.5 plus 22.5 minus 15 so we have 15 kilonewton meter for your moment so 15 kilonewton meter and 15 kilonewton meter okay so last is we have to determine the shear or gear their shear okay for the shear we have here on point of inflection you have to draw your shear okay. in that part so this is 3.75 3.75 all you have to do is to add and divide it by your distance which is 5 meters so we have here 1.5 kilonewton meter 
Tila Newton for your shear. So next we have 3.75 plus 3.75 divided by 4. So we have here 1.875 kilonewton. Next we have 15 plus 15 is 30 divided by 5. 3 divided by 5 we have 6 kilonewton. And last we have 15 plus 15 divided by 4. So 15 plus 15 divided by 4. So we have 7.5 kilonewton. How do we draw that for your shear and moment diagram and also the sway for your portal method? So for the draw the shear and moment diagram for this portal method, so we have your shear which is 2.5. Okay, 2.5. Next, we have 5 kilonewton. Next, we have 2.5. Next, we have 7.5 for this portion. Okay. 15. And then, we have 7.5. How about the girder at this point? So, all we have to do is, this is your intersection. So, we have to down to 1.5. That portion, that is your shear for the girder. Next, we have 1.875. Next, we have 15. Ah, sorry, this is 6, 6, 6, so 6, and we have 7.5, so this is your shear diagram, how about the moment, so to determine the moment, so since this is first degree, sorry, half, this is 3.75, so therefore that is also 3.75 on this portion 3.75 okay next we have 7.5 and also this is 7.5 that is diagonal next we have 3.75 and this is 3.75 next we have 11.25 and 11.25 25 next we have 22.5 and then this is 22.5 last we have 11.25 and 11.25 and then for the gear there moment we have 3.75 going up and then going down which is 3.75 this is also 3.75 3.75 up and then down also we have 15 and then 15 next we have 15 and also 15 that one so how we determine the sway so determination of sway so we have to base here in moment on our moment diagram this is moment so from this part that is your sway so with this sway sway and then how about this one so this is That is for the sway diagram. So that's all for the portal method. Draw the sure and moment diagram and also the sway diagram. Thank you.